Hello. Okay. Got it going. How is everybody doing today? I'm really eager to get back into this game. I've been doing so much more stuff in like my day-to-day -day life that I've, I haven't been on Twitch as much. Um, but I'll get that balance. I'll get that balance. We're getting there. We're gonna stream as, until I get hungry today. Um, and then probably again either tomorrow or Monday. We'll see how it goes. Get the game loaded in here. I'm planning to bake some cupcakes tonight. I'm really excited about that. All right, where did we leave off? I'm gonna say that every time I boot up this game. Um. Let's take a look at the map. Did we get all our business done here? Let's take a look at what we were trying to make. Check our quests. Field? We've got a field, don't we? Maybe we don't. Maybe this is new. Or maybe not. It looks very similar to this one. It might just be another one. Orchard we definitely don't have. But we don't have Nebula Thread. I don't know how to get that yet. We have the Sheep Corral. We don't have a Windmill. I'm trying to remember if we've had marble in the past. I know we've had like quartz. I don't think we've seen marble yet. We have a sawmill. We have the kitchen. We have a foundry. Are there any houses we're missing? I think we have all the houses. An air draft. That could be useful. I think we just kind of need to explore around a little bit. Or wait. We needed to get... I'm gonna go talk to... Talk to our pun man. Our pun shark. Because we needed to get an upgrade to the ship. Is I think where we left off. Oh, we did get the icebreaker. Okay. Should figure out how to get wool. I mean, we have the the sheep corral, so maybe we can just harvest wool now. Hello, Mr. Sheep. I can only feed him. He is hungry, though. Some corn. Please enjoy. Well, why don't we go somewhere that requires some ice breaking, huh? Let's do it. These are all empty. Can we plant anything? We sure can. It's always a little strange coming back to this game after being away for a couple of days. It's hard to remember what I was doing. And then after like five, five or ten minutes, I kind of have, have everything back to where I was, but... Because there, it's, it's kind of open world, 
I never am 100% sure where I'm supposed to go. Oh, come on, Munchkin. I'm starving. Do something. All right. Okay. Jeez. Sorry. Uh, you like basic stuff. You're welcome. Let's see. What else can we do in the meantime? We can do a little fishing. Nope. Easy catch. I think we have like more lightning in a bottle than we'll need for quite some time. So if we do get the prompt for that, I think I'm gonna skip it. Hey, I was at the store today, just getting regular groceries, but also cupcake making supplies. And I saw the canned pumpkin and I was like, ooh, maybe it's time to start making some pies. Ooh, I do want to do this. I haven't done this in a while. I don't know if it'll let me. Oh, wow. I just have to go to the house now. That's so sad. Rather, because Gwen isn't here anymore. This does seem to be the best way to get the gleams, though. I'm never 100% sure why, like, why the music is so dark and gloomy here. It's... It doesn't seem to fit, like, what's going on? Like, I don't know, I don't interpret this as, like, scary or anything. That's it. Yep. Oh, got a couple hundred. Not bad, not bad. So this is going to be a thunderstorm for sure. So I remember looking at the map. Nah. 
next time. Not this time. We've got so much lightning in a bottle. Money is always good, but you don't get as much for the lightning. I don't think we've gotten a mackerel yet. Maybe we have. I don't doesn't look familiar. I like that you see the smaller islands or the other islands in the background. And the foreground. dark to navigate. Yeah, the herrings we get a lot of. Is that the ice? Yeah, it was. Oh, look at the ice. Got right through it. Ice on the hull, that's cool. It's a good touch. Someone's snoring. Who is it? Where are they? Can I wake them up? Ah, it's you. Kaltstein mines discovered. I cannot wake up the line. Oh. oh, wait a second there. You can't be here. This mine has been abandoned for 40 years. You can't just waltz in there. You haven't got the proper credentials. But I love the attitude. I do see some potential in you as a future security recruit. You just need some training. I went to school for this job, you know. I suppose if you went out and got some training, I could... Uh, dis uh, dis dispute... Depu deputize you. There we go. I can talk, I swear. Uh, that would work, actually. Uh, a break once in a while does sound nice. Listen, go out there and train for this job. Double jump, glide, zip line around. You need to be able to do all that before I can make you part of the team. I'll see you around, future recruit. Okay. So we, we have double jump and we have glide, but we don't have zip line, whatever that is. I wonder if it'll tell us where to go.
Oh, I forgot about this. Susan's Museum. Mount Toroyama. I wish I could open my quests at the same time. Where's Mount Toroyama? That one's over here somewhere. Hey, it's nearby. Let's go back. We'll see what we missed. Could have sold some stuff to him, but that's okay. I got planks! Planks! Get your planks! I made some planks for you, Stella. Enjoy. Thanks. Appreciate it. Let's go ahead and do some smelting. Hello! How are you doing today? I've got a new question of the day. Which is... Pumpkins. Are they overrated or underrated? I want to know... Everyone's thoughts now that it's... Like, finally... Uh, fall. <laughs> it's a very divisive question, I know. Pyro, thanks for that lurk. I appreciate it. Pumpkins are pretty good. Ah, ah, thank you for answering the question before going into lurk mode. I think, I think that pumpkins, um, get too much hate. I think that, like, the pumpkin spice latte stuff is, like, definitely overrated like the latte aspect is overrated because it's not even like pumpkin at that point right but like a good pumpkin pie oh, so good one of my favorites your team pumpkin 100 percent hell yeah don't care if they're overrated i love pumpkin spiced everything i think sometimes it can be good but like the starbucks stuff it's like it's, like, not even real. I think if you stripped away, like, all of the extra sugar and stuff, I would probably like it a lot better. So I guess I'm somewhere in the middle for my own question. Request advanced. Mm -hmm. Be a deer. You know it would be uh, be nice to eat something. Listen, I fed you this morning, and you're hungry again already. Mm -hmm. um, I wonder if what you feed them is important. Like, if you feed them popcorn, are they gonna be hungry later because it's not like a substantial meal? But how's your Saturday going, Bridge? What have you been up to? I slept really late this morning. I normally get up at like 8, 8.30. Um, and today I slept until 11. I usually don't sleep that late. That late. Working and lurking? I feel that. We've, we've traded places! Usually, it's the other way around. We're here! What a nice, quaint place. 
And the view, well, it can't be beaten, can it? Yes, this will be perfect. I see a little... Promontory? Promon promontory? Up that cliff there? Just ahead, I'll meet you there. How will I do it? Ha, don't worry. Um, I'm sure I'll manage to snake my way up. There's too many puns in this game. Oh, hey! I got the second sheep. That was, that was lucky. Good job. You brought a second sheep. Look at them. They'll be so happy together. Oh, they're acting kind of cuddly. That's surprising. Well, they just uh, have to get to know each other. Oh, coldly, I think it said, not cuddly. I'm sure they'll be best friends in no time. As for me, well, it was nice feeling needed. What, you want me to join you on your travels? Oh, no. No, 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 no. I couldn't possibly impose myself on all of you. Besides, I'm sure there's no room for me. For sure, this island's a little bare, but... I'm sure a little house could fit quite nicely here. A little bungalow with nice vines and potted flowers, maybe. With pale tones and cozy cottage facade. Oh, and green window shades. That'd be real wonderful. Oh, sorry, I was lost in my thoughts. No, you go ahead. I'll be fine here. I guess we have to build a cottage. Sad he couldn't be there in person for Kimmy's cooking streams. Those dumplings look good. Yeah, me too, Bridge. Yeah, they looked so good. While we're here, we might as well grab some resources. I'm fairly sure that we've done everything in this cave that we can. But yeah, watching their cooking stream, I was like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make cupcakes tonight. And so that, that was like my main reason for going to the store, was to get the, the missing ingredients for cupcakes. So tonight I'm gonna do... I haven't, I haven't totally decided what kind of cupcakes, but uh, I have stuff for red velvet. Uh, but I, they didn't have any cream cheese. They didn't have any vegan cream cheese that I could eat. So I grabbed um, just some vegetable shortening to make buttercream icing so I'll do some maybe I'll do something different this time because red velvet without cream cheese icing just sounds sad mm. picking up some more glad you'll be sharing that later is that a door <gasps> ah I haven't lost my touch have I I might be cold but I still have a few tricks up my sleeve and beating younglings in a climbing race has always been a specialty of mine. But enough of this, let's focus on the matter at hand. This lesson, as you might have guessed, will be a little bit special. Up to now, we focused on the proper care of plants and crops. Well, now I think it's time to concentrate on the proper care of one's mind. Sunlight and music were the tools of the former. Well, for the latter, our tool will be the act of meditating. And that's specifically why I brought you here. See that boulder? It hasn't been concentrate. It hasn't been concentrated for nothing. Powerful spiritual energies flow through the area. I know, I know. It might seem strange, occult even, but just humor me. First things first. Sit down next to me, just like this. All right, your turn. Should get into bacon, haven't given, haven't given it a shot yet. It's really fun. Um, I'd say that baking is... It's easier than cooking in the sense that you have a recipe that is written out and you follow it exactly, and it should work. Should. It doesn't always. I, I learned, I was trying for a while, uh, for a couple of months, to, to figure out a recipe to make the perfect cookie. Like, for me. Chocolate chip cookies for me. And, um, because I, I like them to be a little bit un undercooked in the middle, 
enough that they stay soft the next day. They don't get too hard and like brittle. Um, and and they also had to be vegan or dairy free at least. Um, and that's when I learned that the humidity in the air and the temperature of the room, the season, all of that impacts how the cookies will come out. Like, it's it's a little bit crazy. Um, you have to compensate for those things sometimes, and I'm not good enough to do that. I don't. I just so I just like follow the same recipe every time, and sometimes it comes out like perfectly, and other times it doesn't. But they still, it's still delicious. Like it, maybe the texture will just be slightly different, and like with cupcakes. Um, it's just a bit of a bit more of a process because like you bake the cake, right? You take it out, then you have to put it in the fridge overnight, and then the next day or a couple hours later you can ice it because if it's still hot, all the icing will just melt and just fall off the cupcake. Uh, which is the same with like regular cakes too, but I don't make regular cakes that often. Meditation Stella is an affair of wholesomeness, of wholesomeness and one's one oneness a lot of novices believe wrongfully that meditation is the pursuit of an empty mind but the mind is not empty stella it is a beast savage and untamed violent and caring loving and destructive hateful curious scared a ball of frayed nerves much like the dragon it cannot be controlled it must be allowed to roam free My father also lived with this tormented creature, of a different kind, perhaps. He chose to fight it, tried to muscle down into submission, to mark it under uh, auspice of violence, and mostly to silence it. He thought that nothingness was the solution. But the dragon is indomitable. The fight left of my uh, the fight left my father a broken man. Let your mind wander, Stella. Gently, like you would a scared kitten. Let it smell the grass. Let it notice the wind flowing through your hair. Let the heat radiating from the stone behind you. The rhythm the rhythmic breaking of the waves below. Let your spirit penetrate all things, not to make them yours, but to make yourself theirs. Be one and be whole, but keep being. I like this little segment a lot. You taught yourself to cook by getting HelloFresh. I loved HelloFresh, so I, I did some of like their discount like try 10 meals for whatever or you get some some amount free or some something like that um i and i used hello fresh for maybe uh two or three months something like that um and i kept all the cards so now i just use those recipes yeah, you have the giant stack of different recipes to make. Yeah, I just use the cards now. I go to the store, buy whatever I need, and then I just make some variant of it. Um, but yeah, I totally agree. HelloFresh got me to start using the same, or got me to start eating ingredients that I never used to cook with. I always liked to cook, but it was just like a convenience thing for me. But yeah, I really recommend the service to people uh, who want to learn how to cook. However, something that happened to me, um, and I don't know if this is common, but I, I have a kitchen scale, um, and I started weighing the ingredients that I was getting, and I found that pretty often they were substantially less weight than they were advertised to be. So, like, I was using those meals to count calories, and then I was finding that, like, Sometimes, especially the fresh stuff, the veggies or whatever, would be half the amount that's listed in the recipe card. Or like the meat might be a little different. And so um, it meant my calories were off for the day. And so like I wasn't eating enough. Oh, I fell. Yeah. 
Yeah, and I don't even know. I think it was whatever the, like, the packaging place. Oh, I guess that was all that was here. I thought I could keep going up, but I guess not. But yeah, after like uh, a couple a couple times that that happened, and then also not getting the some ingredients, like sometimes ingredients would be just left out entirely. Uh, I ended up just canceling. I just I didn't feel like I was getting what I was paying for, and so I, I stopped. Death Gotten vegetables were wildly different sizes. Yeah, like it, and, and I know that there's gonna be variation, of course, but it was, it was a lot with a couple of ones that I had like t two or three times in a row and I was just like, Meh. But it was funny, I was really into it for a while. I actually like, I tried three different services. I tried HelloFresh, I tried Blue Apron, and Green Chef. I think. Um, and I'll say that I think Green Chef had the most, like, delicious meals. I thought that those were, like, the best meals. It was also the most expensive, however. Um, their quality was just overall higher. Uh, Blue Apron, I think, was the cheapest, but it had the fewest options. And then HelloFresh just had, like, the most meal options, which for me, with allergies, was basically the only thing I could use. Um, I want to build this cottage. Seems like my lesson had quite the influence. You were up there for hours. I just had to stretch my legs at some point. Oh, what are you saying? A vision? Of course. You're the spirit fair, after all. The mystical energies of this world are bound to affect you in mysterious ways. I'm sure there are such uh, areas of power. If you find them, be sure to take time to meditate. Perhaps more visions will rain down upon your mind. You know, Stella, while you were up there, I tried to do some thinking. I wanted to prepare our next lesson. So fly. There's still so much to teach, but I couldn't think. My mind was uneasy. For, you see, I, too, have had a vision. A gift from the universe. It's a dragon, Stella. I have felt him creeping slowly towards me. I thought I had some grand purpose to accomplish before he would swallow me whole. But now I realize the dragon hasn't crept much at all. He hasn't kept up with me for quite a while now, and ignoring it won't do me any good. Well, let's go, shall we? Definitely overpriced, but decent as a learning tool. I knew nothing about cooking before then. Yeah, I think that's what it's absolutely best for, is to, like, get you comfortable using ingredients in the kitchen and, like, even basics, like how to chop vegetables. Like, you, it, it seems like that should be something that comes really naturally, but if you've never really done it before, it can be really daunting. Um, and they, they give you all those steps to make it super easy. Um... Did find it weird that like half of the HelloFresh meals were cooked with sour cream. Yes, that that was so frustrating for me. Like I, I would oftentimes get meals with sour cream and then just not use the sour cream because the, the meal didn't even need it. But also if I'm paying for like the same amount that I would be for takeout for a meal, I don't want to have to cut out ingredients like it's just, that seems so straightforward, but. Linen thread. Oh, uh, we have to get more linen. I don't know if we have any more linen. Alright, where is our shop I think it's the harbor let's go there but yeah the other thing this was kind of more of a uh, I guess a more minor thing um, but 
The other thing that I noticed from these meal kits was how wasteful they are in terms of packaging. Um, like, the amount of trash that came in the box was insane to me. Uh, I was constantly throwing things away. Um, even the the ice packs that they come with. So for, for anyone in chat who, who doesn't know anyone lurking, HelloFresh comes with these like eight and a half by 11 ish sized ice packs that are like two inches thick. Um, and they line the, the top and the bottom of the box. So you usually have two or three of them. Sometimes they are sink safe but a lot of times they're not, and so you just have to put them in the trash, and they're really heavy. Um, so, so like, uh, that combined with each ingredient often coming in its own packaging with, with plastic, sometimes it would be paper, or sometimes you'd have loose, like, potatoes. But it just, it felt like a lot of uh, wasteful trash. I had to prepare the garden for Rose. I wanted to give her a nook of paradise. Home filled with so much love she could be overwhelmed by it. I was wrong. Incredibly so. When she came to live with me, the garden's yield grew tenfold. What's going on? Is this another box? Maybe not. Yeah, they claim to be eco-friendly, but they aren't. Yeah, they definitely- they totally do, but- and the way that they claim that they're eco-friendly is that because the meals are pre-portioned, there- you don't have any leftover food waste. But food waste is way more sustainable than plastic. Let me see if I can make any linen thread. I'm pretty sure that I can't. Uh, I have to remember where my... There it is. Moved everything around. Does this make thread? Or does this make cloth? Yay! We do have thread. Okay. I, uh, I watched a Netflix documentary uh, a couple months ago uh, called Broken that, like, I don't know, if you, if you want to feel bad, <laughs> it's a good one. Um, but it it covers some interesting topics, I'll say. Um, where, the, like, the first episode is about counterfeit makeup. And the, uh... The last episode is about recycling. And, spoiler alert, we're, we're ruining the planet <laughs> when it comes to our trash. Um, all right, well, we'll have to go get that, that new person. Gonna lurk for a while, have a good stream, thanks. Good luck working, I appreciate the lurk. I'll catch you later. Confusing everybody, waking them up in the middle of the day. Hungry? 
You're hungry. Oh. We're almost there. Then we're going to go back. Might be a lot of traveling back and forth in this stream. We'll see. Let's go into town. We haven't gone into town, like, with the intention of buying things in a really long time. Or maybe ever? Unsure. Hello. Oh. Welcome. Hummingbird Preservation Society, which was established oh. by me. I'm trying to remember if you... I think oh. we've done this before. We want to restore the harbor. It's in bad... Badly need of a paint job. Bring back the sparkle. There used to be an old boat docked there. We could have used materials to rebuild these homes. Someone has apparently stolen it. People do silly things sometimes. If you'd like to give us a hand, we're always looking for volunteers. Right now, I think we just want to get those crates out of the water. Up for it? Yeah, of course you are. You go get her. Yeah, we'll get the crates. Who used to live here? Animals, that's who. Maybe this isn't where I thought it was. Hey, look at all this stuff we get though. Huh. I thought we were at a totally different place. Good job! That was great! We'll keep painting and cleaning these uh, these stains. Probably get rid of that oh. dumpster. I heard that there was a possum in there. Sometimes that's the way it goes. That's what happens day in, day oh, out no. over here. Repair, restore, repeat. That's our motto. The three R's of Hummingbird Preservation oh. Society. Hopefully no one is already using that motto. Well, back to business. Here's a small but crucial shopping list. If we get all that, we'll be able to give this beaut the shine she deserves. Oh. Thanks again for your precious help. Be seeing you. Find household glue. I think we're pretty close to that quest, the fifty eight eleven. Yeah, let's just go right here. Try to finish up a couple of these quests. fair amount of stuff to sell, too. Let's 
soul. Weren't, didn't we need that for something? We needed that for something. I think we needed it for one of the little merchant side quests. Hold on to that. I'm gonna have to move this house though because the sleeping. Cat naps. Oh, I forgot to wake everybody up. It's probably my fault. Good morning. Make sure everybody's fed. Over there. Over here. Would you look at that? You were able to find my sister in the village? That's incredible. Is she mad? Don't tell me. If I make it, I'm sure that will be worth something at least. Thanks again. I'll probably be at the bottom of the ocean without you or my sister's help. You're just gonna chill? You, I mean, I guess you can just chill. Minus 150, 150. That's far. Okay. Uh, but I guess we've got a couple of quests over there, so we might as well... Oh, we got a new over here? Didn't we have to go back here to get the spirit? is on the way. Let's go somewhere new first. I want to explore around a little. we can get like a meditation rock on the boat and then when we meditate it speeds up time so you can get places faster that would be really cool Hard to reel in. It was a tiny little shrimp. All that trouble. Let's see, what can we cook? Maybe we'll just make a bunch of rice. Let's see what happens. We have so much rice. Oh, we can't go here. Oh, I've totally done this before, too. 
forgot about that dreaded line. All right, well, I still haven't figured out what we can do here. Suppose we'll do this. a little bit. Now we wait. I watched a new movie the other night. I watched uh, Ex Machina. For the first time and that really impressed me gotta say I really liked it it kind of broke all the tropes that I was like expecting from that type of movie I won't spoil it for anybody who hasn't seen it yet but I was very impressed with it that was great Bucket of fried chicken. Yeah, I know. Didn't mean to say yes there, but we'll have fun. just to get the different music for a couple minutes. some stuff. A good amount of stuff. Alright, well how'd the rice come out? Did we just get like steamed rice? Yeah, plain rice. Makes sense. Let's do like fish. Let's try that.
Oh, so something that I've been excited about lately is I've been getting into rock climbing a little bit, bouldering specifically, uh, and now that I've kind of, I have some idea of what I'm doing. I know how I can get better now. Um, I want to go a lot more often. Uh, like I went yesterday. And I, I was planning to stream yesterday and I ended up not just because I was, like, so tired from climbing. Um, and I was like, today I was like, oh, I want to go back, I want to go back. But I really need to give my hands a rest because they're just getting torn up. <laughs> I have to, like, pick up some medical tape or something just to, like, keep over, like, my poor blistering callus. Like, it, it looks fine, like, it doesn't look bad or anything, but... It's just sore. But it's nice being excited about working out again. I'll say I like climbing more than I thought I would. And I hope that we arrive at this island before it hits another nighttime. I think we're gonna have to sleep. stuff. Wait, where'd the sheep? Oh, wait! Our sheep! Oh, we brought the sheep with us. I didn't realize that we were donating our sheep. we were going to get another sheep from that island. We just transported a sheep and left it there. Is that cherries? Cherry seed. close to our destination. I hope that like counted. There we go. I'm never sure how precise we need to be. Oh, look at how fast the the tracker is moving. Oh, it's so such a nice change from how slow it is when we go so far. Let's sleep. This time we'll wake everybody up on time. Up. 
fish curry. Now we're going to do a veggie curry. Let's try it. We have so many carrots. Let's do carrots. All right, cool. You've landed. I do like that the game gives us a reason to go back to islands we've been to before. I just, I do wish that it was a little bit easier to keep track of, maybe? Like here there's a pretty important quest that we can finish, right? By talking to this guy again. What? You built a house for me? You shouldn't have, really. But since it's there, well I guess I'd, it'd be rude of me not to move in. Thank you so much. And there we go. I wonder if the sheep will come with us. All right, what kind of animal is this? Oh, back so soon? I'm always happy to see you. But don't let me hold you back from your adventures. What kind of critter is it gonna be? <laughs> little one. What is this? Oh, a little ceremony. All right. I'll try to do my best. What's it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, it's a hedgehog. Aww. Oh, this is really pleasant. Soft as a waffle and warm as a pie. I feel young again. Thank you so much for having found me, young one. Don't you worry about me now. I'll find my way around. Aww. You're not hungry. I wish I was countryside. Let's see where that is. I like polishing off some of these quests. I don't think we can go to this one yet. Oh, that's so close. You know, let's grab the crates and then we'll go down there. Oh, you came. Oh, we left that other sheep there. Would you look at that, Stella? This little sheep uh, we wanted to come with us. I guess it didn't like its new companion very much after all. Well, no worries. We'll take good care of you. But first, all this wool looks quite uncomfortable, doesn't it? And no, we're on a boat. Uh, it's like that story of the flock of the sheep that fell off the boat. Well, we can't have that. Go ahead, Stella. Shear the wool right off its back. It's for the best. Oh, finally, we can shear. <laughs> the sheep looks so alarmed. Key for Mount Toriyama's house. Okay. Can we do something with this here? <gasps> we can. Oh, how exciting. Much better. Well, aren't you feeling better? And it's much safer too. And that key, I thought I'd lost it, but it was stuck to your thick coat all this time. What a treat. As for you, Stella, I know you'll find good use for this extra wool. It's one of my favorite materials. I choose it exclusively for all my blankets. My husband, of course, always thought they were scratchy. He was such a grump. Anyways, the sheep's wool will grow back very quickly, but once 
uh, but only if it's well fed. And this one seems to have quite a large appetite. I suggest you diligently feed him, otherwise he might get into your gardens and destroy your crops. Oh, I imagine building a sheep corral uh, would help keep him in place. Is he not in a corral? You should probably do that as soon as possible. For the good of the sheep and that of your crops. Well, he's not hungry now. Oh, was there anything that I should dive for? Maybe not this time. salad. Okay. You're not hungry. I like the sheep. So, is that not the sheep corral? No, that, that is the sheep corral. I think we're okay. Munchkin. Mm -hmm. There, I made these for you. Aw, oh, thanks. That was sweet. Let's go. We're off. Mushrooms. I haven't figured out how to build the mushrooms. Or how to get up there. Munchkin. Mm -hmm. Olga said in her letter that Giovanni could be found or could have lived around here. Uh, knowing him as I do, I have my doubts. He wouldn't linger in a place mm -hmm. like this, but who knows? Maybe if you ask around, we might find a clue or two. I'll leave you to it. I don't. Uh, I don't want to go too mm -hmm. far. The humidity here is killing me. Go, go. I trust you. Find some interesting stuff. Give me the mushroom. Thank you. Ooh. Wow, berries! Berries look incredible. I was just dreaming about these. He's so excited. Would you like a berry? I guess we can go talk to the ones that like spit. These guys over here on the bridge. That's all I remember about them. 
Ooh. Who? I don't remember his name. That that knight didn't call for names, if you know what I mean. Oh. I do remember his legs, though. Oh, brother. Oh. Wait. He has a wife? He didn't say anything oh. about it. He didn't... Uh, he did say he was going for, to Furugawa. Well, if you ever meet up with him, tell oh. him. Tell him that Eileen misses him. Aww. Oh. Bummer. Mm -hmm. He was here, you say? And he met someone? No, don't tell me. I don't want to know. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe I do. Just a tiny bit. Only where he went. Furugawa, you say? I think I know where that is. I've heard it's a lovely place. Well, at least that's what the brochures said. I've always loved those uh, these colorful flyers. They make you travel without leaving mm -hmm. your seat. All right, Munchkin, let's check it out. You know what? I normally wouldn't, like, I'd just wait until he ran into the merchant, but let's actually go to the merchant. So close. Might as well. And there's a few things that we can make now that we have wool. Let's go sell some stuff. Oh wait, let's check the the errands. Oh, it was the salmon. Yeah, so we have the soul, we need the salmon. Treasure map. Yeah, I remember these actually being kind of worth it. Oh, you got something to say. What's up? You found your first treasure map. You might find something interesting from it. Look inside. You'll find coordinates for some treasure. Oh shit, I didn't even notice this. Fifty eight minus fifty eight minus fifty two. Is that that's kind of minus fifty eight? Fifty-nine. Come on. Fifty-two. There we go. There we go. There it is. We got it. We got it. All right. All right. We're going. We're going. I want to go to the treasure. I still really want to figure out this nebula stuff. It makes- I think that we haven't been introduced to, like, the right character yet that's gonna show us how to collect it. But I'm very eager. I should check what I need the wool for, too. Mm 
marble, aluminum. Was it an upgrade? Ah, uh, wool fabric for the next upgrade for the ship. We can almost afford the giant ship, too. And wool fabric there. Okay. I wonder if we can get more sheep. sleep and then we can do that not waste our time gotta be efficient gotta be always moving Daffodil keeps unspooling this, that's funny. We have enough to do one of the upgrades, at least. A blueprint! Foundry upgrade! Hell yeah. All right, we still can't go there. I think that's where we needed to go. see this upgrade for the foundry. Man, we need nebula jelly for everything, or nebula fabric. There's any fish that I haven't caught yet. Did anybody catch the uh, PlayStation reveal of new stuff? Some of it looked really good. I'm really excited for like God of War and man, it's gonna be a good time. I'm starting to like question if I should get a PS5 or try to get one but it still doesn't really seem worth it to me yet because first of all it is expensive it is not cheap but also all the games are coming to PS4 so far what kind of food do you like? Aw, look at the nibbling. Give me a hug. That was nice.
Who who is trying to talk to me? A little idea, Sprout. I've been looking at my house. It's a little bare bones, and I'm an amateur as an, an amateur handyman. It doesn't work at all. Maybe we should improve it. Add a few bells and whistles. I don't exactly know why. Let me have a look. Follow me. Where are you going? <laughs> that was a roundabout way to get to your house. Look at that. You've already started with the improvements. Carry on. I'm ahead of the game, you guys. Do you know what the house needs? A desk and some tools. Yeah, that's it. I don't know. Uh, I know we don't have a lot of space on this boat. Um, this is becoming a dream scenario of mine. Uh, my bed next to my tools. It would be like I'm living in a fantasy. I could work on my own projects, maybe build something for my daughter, Ashley. Yeah, what's the use, right? It's not like I'm ever going to see her again. I should stop daydreaming about it. I'm just trapped here. You know what's not funny? I can't even remember her face. So let's just get that desk and I'll figure out what to make later. It was so sad. Come on. Are we slowing down? <gasps> oh, you're tired, aren't you? I used to play this game with my grandchildren all the time. Just catch them and bring them back to their mommy. What is the, what is happening? What is this? <gasps> oh, finally, we can do the nebula stuff. Ooh, this is not what I expected, though. Oh, wait, what? <gasps> I have to bring them back. Also, uh, Garrus, thank you so much for that lurk. I appreciate it. isn't what I expected at all. That was so cool! I like that we're still getting new... Um, new mechanics as I'm playing the game. Like, I've got to be 10 or 12 hours into the game. And still finding new content. Oh, we can make so much stuff now. We still need some iron ingots. Don't we have iron ingots? I thought for sure we did. Give me a minute. I'll check it with you. Did I use all my iron? Maybe I did. What's going on? might have noticed that there is a large empty nook in my house. You know what? We should add a wardrobe. Yes, a fancy dresser for your clothes. You don't seem to have anywhere to store your own outfits. This would be a perfect opportunity. What do you think? Oh, it just it just glitched out. say to give credit where credit's due i have only run into a couple of bugs in this game largely it has been running pretty perfectly it crashed once i've had a couple of like 
foreground background issues. All right, we're here. Let's go down. Let's do it. Let's look around. That's funny. Is that his cologne I can smell? This peculiar mix of musk and nonchalance. He must have been here recently. Quick, Munchkin, let's ask around. Giovanni, that name. Don't say that name. He almost broke up my marriage. Came here a month ago. Big man. Thinking he's the boss. Good thing my wife came to her senses. Apparently he didn't like the weather. Good riddance. Oh, no, no, get up. Hello to you too. I live a simple life. Oh, maybe it was just that one that we had to talk to. So happy my brother made it. I won't forget this torture you're putting me through. Oh my god. Oh yeah, and then didn't we get a key to a house? I think it was a different house, though. On a different island. But maybe there's something that we can harvest while we're here. Uh -huh. You know what to do, Stella. Go ahead and confront that horrid woman. We'll, we'll get to that. Mm -hmm. We've done this already. Maybe we haven't. I remember talking to them before, but it like wouldn't let me. All right, well, let's do it. Are you ready to start the tour? Yes, perfect. Let's get started right away. To begin, a powerful symbol. Erected to keep the evil spirits away, bless this island for future generations. You can sometimes see islanders stopping by this tree in the middle of their journey home. Maybe to remind themselves of a lost brother, their sick child, past lovers. Legend does say that they have heard talk, heard talk sometimes, another piece of this island's rich culture. I personally have never experienced loss, some say. I always think of my personal problems, never thinking of others. Well, no matter, as long as I can carry on doing these tours. A fair distance, please! Ah! Since this is a vibrant city, we have Raccoon Ink location. Considered by most to be the finest source of materials and wares, it is also coincidentally the only merchant business in town. Founded by Theodore Raccoon, these shops are a stable, thriving economy. Uh, fun fact, anyone who joins Raccoon Ink must legally change their name to Theodore. I suppose it's a way to honor their founder. Truly a sign of devotion. I myself do not shop at this particular establishment. I make my own clothes and furniture. This isn't particularly noteworthy, but it's a small tidbit of your tour guide life. Welcome all. You're in the right place. Furugawa might be a uh, quiet place, but do you know you don't have to be calm when you are shopping? Let's see. Anything I can sell? So much lightning. Ah. Apple seeds. What? Linen. I do want to. Uh, I don't want to buy any more. That's expensive. Here, this is a shrine. The shrine was built using only the finest uh, metals from the ashes of past guardian towers. These shrines tell a story of our past, and that story is. Give me a second. I'm not sure actually, which is why it's so important. In my forgetfulness, I remember the purpose of the shrine. The moral being, of course, always remember your heritage. A powerful thought. Let's move on. 
Do I have this one? I guess so. All right, this concludes our tour. Burgawa Tours is grateful for your participation. Thank you for your ears and your patience. Thank you once again. A gratuity is expected if you enjoy the tour. Does 50 gleams sound fair? Yeah, sure. I knew you had an educational spirit. Thank you for uh, believing in my teaching aptitudes. meditate here? I guess not. <laughs> what a bust! Sorry, Stella. Oh, damn it. Enough is enough. I'm done wasting my time. I won't be looking for that hoodlum anymore. I don't need to be happy. I don't need him to be happy. I don't need to hear his stupid jokes and incessant yammering. I don't need to be suffocated by his floral cologne. I don't need to have him constantly showering me with praise. I don't need him. I don't need to see his flamboyant mane. I don't know. I right, let's go back to the boat. Sounds like you still want to find him. We're gonna. We're gonna find him. You just gotta be patient. <sighs> oh, stretch. Astrid, big news. You'll be glad to know that my sources have finally panned out. I heard my sister, Masha, might know something about your husband's whereabouts. You should go and drop in on her. A lighter. Key for Mount Toroyama's house. I do want to check out that house. And let's see if we can make anything with the nebula stuff. We might want to hit up one of the nebula areas also. Ectoplasm. Glass. Linen fabric. Oh my gosh. We're so close. Linen fabric and aluminum ingot. We don't have aluminum yet, though. We can make an orchard now. Oh, it's definitely going to go either there or down here. I think it makes more sense to go right there. So let's put it up here first. Let's move that there. And then let's put this down here. Oh, yes. My Tetris satisfaction. That would look really good there, but then it would kind of make the, the mill look strange. Just do that for now. 
We could maybe even put this over here. I just don't like the... I don't like the location of this building. But that's fine. Stella! I heard received another letter from Olga. Masha, you say? She's her sister? And she might know something about Giovanni's location? Huh, okay, good. Let's go talk to her then. She is, how to put it, special. Me and her. Let's say we've never been friends. And Stella, thanks for playing messenger. You're wonderful. It's always nice to be thanked. I want to check out this, this special house. This locked house. I muted my mic while I cracked my knuckles. You're welcome. I always forget to do that, and then I feel bad because I do it, like, right in front of the microphone. <laughs> oh. Can I- can I take this sheep? With us? It's nice that we can shear it. I like how alarmed the sheep are each time. Ah, this house. More cherries. I'm excited to plant those. I don't think there was anything else really to do here. I am curious if the sheep will come with us. Do we have two sheep? No, still just one sheep. I guess we need to make a second corral. <laughs> oh no! I have something for you. Here, Stella, I baked something for the crew. I'll let you distribute it. Rice pudding, aw. to get this one like exactly right I'm just gonna make all of it I always worry that I'm gonna need like the raw material at some point oh this one's so fast a couple of oak planks this to travel faster we need that we just we just need that so let's go to the shipyard and then we'll just um make the stuff on the way we just we just need it so badly um we needed oak planks and wool fabric okay I can't believe you can do up to 50 at a time. That's crazy. That would take so long. I 
at that point, I would just, like, go AFK for a while and, like, grab a snack and just, like, not, uh, try to cut it precisely at all. Just get whatever you get. We might be able to do that, too, if we have enough. We need more iron ingots, and we need more wool fabric. Because we're going to use it for both. We'll start with the iron ingots. They're making me work now. I guess we'll make the rest of the wool, too. Get out of the way! There we go. Ugh, oh, that wasn't quite enough. You're starving! This one's easier to just set it and forget it. You just get the the one thing all the way up and then you can just leave it and it'll be done and get back. So that makes me happy. But we're stopped. Why are we stopped? Because we're not there yet. What is keeping us? Maybe we weren't stopped. Maybe I made that up. <laughs> I'll take that. What does it cost to make another sheep corral? Oak planks and copper. That'll help. Don't forget. I know you need fried chicken. We're here. We did it. We can upgrade some stuff. We can get a faster ship. Oh my god, it's gonna be so good.
it's going to be pretty game changing. Oh, ho, ho. you've got a beautiful orchard full of apples. Do you know what lives and reads inside, don't you? Bookworms. <sighs> yes. Rock destroyer, spirit flower, fire glow. Uh, we don't have enough money for that yet, but we can get this. Excellent. That's very exciting. Getting some upgrades that we need. Feeling it. I wonder what happens if we combine coffee and something else. Oh, right. I wanted to plant in the, uh, in the orchard here. next we don't know where that is yet about the shenanigans we don't have any of those yet either so we kind of just have to look around Wow, there's like spirits on some of these that I haven't even found yet. Still can't get anywhere there yet. Yeah, so we can take another sheep from here. We can take a couple sheep. here there's like a couple of things that we haven't found there's a shop say so let's do it we haven't been there in a while either mm -hmm. made these for me oh mm. they always seem so surprised by the hugs
I also get the impression that I should move Azul's uh, house to like somewhere far away. In fact, it might be kind of funny if I just like put him all the way up in the like the top corner of the boat. Let's see if we have enough supplies to do some upgrading though. Don't have aluminum ingot. some other buildings. Ooh. Chicken coop. Let's make another sheep corral. I'm gonna have to move some stuff around. Let's put the sheep corral up here. plank and zinc oh we can make an air draft now I don't really know if I like need to but it might be useful I'm gonna wait we don't need to go to the uh... I've never even used that I don't know if it's useful or not let's see All these houses can just go out of the way for now. Something that I very much want to move. I want to move you. Go there. Think about this a little bit. I'm wondering if this will fit in this corner here. Maybe if we put like this higher up. Ah, oh, it's so close, but it doesn't quite fit. We put that over there. Will that fit underneath? Oh, it sure will. Maybe we take this out. Put this down here. I like to have everything that I use, like, often very accessible that's why i'm doing this in case you're wondering i want everything i use to be at the bottom i want all the houses to be high up oh we, that needs the chimney okay something like that. And then the extra sheep corral. Yeah, that doesn't totally work either. This game is hard. This game is hard. What if we get this out of there? Is 
Is that the right number of squares? I want to have the sheep together, though. Like, that looks really good, but I want the sheep to be, like, stacked in the same spot. And I want all the gardens to be together. This, I think, would be way better with a keyboard and mouse. This That's the first time I've said that about this game, is this part of the game would be better with, with a different controller. Oh, okay. I like this. I like that. What if we do something like this? All right, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. We still have a weird gap there, but oh my god, how much better is that? It's so much better. That's even not bad. It's got like a little bit of a weird gap, but I'm cool with it. We can put the guest house over on the side here. Because these buildings, I don't really care how they're arranged and stacked and everything. It's just those bottom ones. Seamus, thanks for that lurk. I appreciate it. Hope you're having a good one. Now this is going to start to look kind of ugly, but I don't care. I'm tempted to put him just like up here permanently. Just... You know what else I'm going to do? moving everything over the two squares so that I can fit the other house. Now I know this is the tedious garbage that you all subscribe for. part doesn't really matter. I keep saying, I keep saying it doesn't matter that much, and yet I'm still fiddling. This is this is fine. It's to it's totally cool. It's it's great. It's It's fine. 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 Everything's fine. It's gonna be okay. It's okay. It matters to me so much and I don't I don't have a good reason for why but it does I like I'm so tempted to look up optimization like guides for how other people set all this up I'm also gonna be so turned around now whenever I want to do anything Good 
Good luck, sheep. Yeah, you're fine. I need another sheep, though. Let's go check out this island. We have been wasting time long enough. And I might make dinner soon. I'm getting kind of peckish. Getting ready to make some cupcakes. Mm. I'm busy. Mm. Yes? I thought you had something to say. Mm. Okay. Hope my next game will be ready soon. I've crunched the data and spent five nights theory crafting. Clearly, if you take the heavy weapon proficiency from the mountain gnome race, there's a nifty synergy with that level three rogue ability. Heavy, heavy, heavy scrape. It's for sure weird, but hey, five d20 and auto crit on prone can't be defeated. Am I right? I remember that character from last time we were here. Oh, oh no, we don't need the key, I remember. Turnip, I think we have some turnips. I really don't think we need any of this. Good day. Oh, I guess we do need it if we want that chest. Busy. Yes, young person, can I assume you're busy? Wait a second, you clearly don't have money for this. Come back when you have 5,000 gleams. How, how many gleams do I have? Do I not have 5,000 gleams? Oh my god, how have I spent all my gleams? see the sister here. The cat, like, sprinted. Can I stand on that? Nope. Uh, well, that's unfortunate. I don't have enough money to do anything here. Gonna have to get some more money. Let's see if there's anything nearby that can get us some money. Two things! There's two things nearby. Too dark. Am I weird? Weird ship. I need some kind of auto watering thing.
Oh, that didn't make us very much, unfortunately. Oh, that's right. It was because I bought all those old seeds. Did we make... Oh, we did make some errands, though. That'll get us enough. That was something, at least. Let's go check on our sheep. Because wool is something that takes forever. Nope. Do you, are you hungry? Nope. Well, at least we can go back here now. We have enough to buy whatever it was that that little ghost, ghost buddy was selling. You're so hungry! You got planks. I'll get them later. Wait, rice pudding? Oh, I guess yogurt, maybe? Reminds you, it remains one of your favorite meals. Mm. Little one, Stella, don't you have anything to eat? I'm so hungry. Mm. Oh, I. No, I don't know. It seems so exotic. So different. I don't think I can eat that. Sorry, Stella. Mm. Okay, there you go. Just some plain old rice. Nothing on it. Just rice. Mm -mm. Are you hungry too? No one likes fancy meals here. Having reconsidered our services, Pridorama is ready to serve you. Our offer is simple. 5,000 gleams for an incredible food adventure. Interested? Yeah, let's do it. Beautiful. I will set you set up your subscription and make sure you receive your first shipment ASAP. You can rest easy knowing that Fridorama is committed to your food needs. Welcome for the Fridorama family. I hope that was worth it. And I hope that that, like, fulfilled a quest or something. I suppose we'll find out, because we're broke now. Tell me what this package is about. Raspberries and wheat flour. Okay, so you so you get some unusual food and some recipes. Okay. You've got a surprise? Hungry as usual, so I did something about it. Went outside the boat, gather some berries. Have too much. Here you go. getting kind of hungry myself. I think here is a good place to stop for now. But thank you all for hanging out. 
Seamus Bridge. Garrus, thanks for stopping in. Pyro, I appreciate it. Let's see who's online, who we can drop a raid. 